Yes, yes, yes. Shalom, shalom. Chabarim, chabarim. Talmudim, shalom. Chazak, chazak. We need to chazik. Be strong, be strong. And make I and I encourage one another. So here, 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 we're beginning again. Here in the season. You know, beginning a new semester here of Bereshith. Right, Bereshith. Bereshith. In, they say, they say in the beginning. But actually, in studying the Hebrew here, Rastafari sabbatical studies and Rastafari yeshiva, we see that it says in beginning, in reishith, in wisdom, in chokmah, the divine feminine, we say principle, right? In wisdom, bara Elohim, he, singularity, he, Elohim, the powers, the powers. Yes, it's the plural word, and here we get the the triune, the triune God or the Holy Trinity, Ha Shalush Ha Kadosh Kadusalasi. The real true Trinity is the Hebrew Trinity. But here, just looking at the first verse here, as we're picking up here with the first of the sabbatical studies, and here, here for this strong and this Shabbat, Bereshith. Bereshith. Now, some will say Bara, so forth and so on. I would like to reason with some of those to see what's the strength, you know, the strength of the Hebrew. You know, because looking at the word isolated is one thing, and looking at the word in context is another. But here in our sabbatical studies, an interesting point came up on the podcast, the broadcast. Check out, be sure to subscribe to Rastafari Israelites on the tube, on the YouTube, Rastafari Israelites, and also here, Rastafari Jews, and hit that notification. Hit the notification bell so that, you know, when we have... Uh, you know, a stream, you know, a stream of the higher, higher, higher consciousness. And here on the sabbatical studies for Shabbat Strong and also the podcast. Be sure also to check out the blog Talk Radio. 515-602-9761. 515-602-9761. From like the Tuesday, Tuesday to the Saturday, 10 p.m. to 1 on the Monday podcast, the second day of the Shabuwa, begin at 10.30. But here to the question right here and to the reason right here. We shared it on the air, so we decided to share it right here, here, here. Question one for this sabbatical study. Now, according to Genesis, right, according to Genesis, the Bible, on every day, Elohim, or as the translator would say, God, right, according to KJV, on every day, my, I've heard one say that every day God said that it was good. And I have to admit this right here, that I've also kind of said that as well. Even though, you know, we have the Bible, the scriptures, you know, even the so-called Christians, they have their Bibles, their scriptures, they carry them. They say, word of God, the word of God. And then they'll say that every day Elohim called it good, right? And on the day that man was created, like they say the sixth day, he said it was very good. But is that true? Is that correct on every day? Elohim, a.k.a. in the translation, God, right, said it was good. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you really love him? Do you keep his word? No, 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 no. This going to be shocking, surprising. That on every day, he did not say it was good. That, that God, according to Genesis in the Bible, we go from low degrees to high degrees, from the KJV, King James Version. And also, let's look at the Hebrew as well. And every day, my Elohim did not say it was good. After the work of that day, he didn't say it was good. Right? There's a day he didn't say it was good. And now, according to Genesis chapter 1, it just goes up to, um, you know, it just goes up to uh, the day 6. Day six. I know some of y'all want to talk about a day. We don't believe that in so-called six days as y'alls, as yous be counting days. No, 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 no. You can't get us with that. Give that to the counterfeit Christians, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, you know, or some of the um, in, in, in indoctrinated believers, you know what I mean? But here, 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 from the Hebraic perspective, in fact, there are, it appears that there are, Hmm, interesting. No, looking at this right here. It appears that there are two days in the Shabuwa or in the seven days. Shabuwa is like the way of saying like the week or the seven days in the Hebrew. Right? There's, there's two days, right, where 
he did not say good. And we know the sixth day when man, right, said, let us make man, right? Elohim said, what? Say what? <laughs> said, let us make man, right? Humanity, you know, the generic term being used in the context, in our image and after our likeness, and male and female. You got to get that right there. Male and female. Isn't it interesting that the males... According to the chromosome science, male have the, the, the X and the Y, and the females have X and X. Isn't that interesting? So even from that science then, people say, well, back in the days, they didn't know these things. Well, I mean, you know that they didn't know, or you just believe? You give me your belief now, right? They didn't, they didn't have this science back in the past. They didn't understand what we understand today. How do you know? No, no, no. How do you really know? <laughs> These people be liars. They be saying, oh, back in the past. These people in the past, they don't know what they're talking about because they don't even know what's going on right now, now, now. But let's look at this right here. On every day, right, did he say it was good? No. All right, so that was how we set it up according to Genesis, the Bible. On every day, Elohim said it was good, question mark. No, no, no. Not on the second day. Now, the second day of the Shabu is interesting right here. All right, which day of the week do most people say is like, a blah 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 day. <laughs> right, well, in this Western Gentile world, the Gregorian calendar is evil. Gotta check out that video there if you haven't seen it. No, I downloaded it before. I need to download it again. Gregorian calendar, because there's a lot that is explained here with the top of our sabbatical study at the first, right? In the first book of Moses of Moshe, that's called in in the English Genesis from the Septuagint in the Latin and English Bibles, they know it as Genesis Genesis, right? Hebraically we say Bereshith, properly pointed Bereshith. And instead of saying in the beginning, Mobeta, Hebraically, right, Judaically, right, with the knowledge of Da'at, in beginning, in Reshith, in Chokma, in wisdom, Bereshith, Bara. He, singularity, created, right? He, speaking of Hilehim, Elohim, yes, it's a plural, the powers. But the difference with the Hebrew, from the Hebrew perspective, and testified in the scripts, we have the witness of the scripts, right? So I have to get into the science of the linguistics, right, of the Hebrew scripts, right? Elohim, when it's used in the majority, right? The overwhelming, we're talking about like 90, 90 plus percent, Right, getting up to the high 90s. There are some other interesting areas, and we see these as revelation, right, of the Hebrew Trinity, Hashilush Kadosh. But here, Bereshith in beginning or in wisdom, right? We made this connection in previous videos. People always talk about, oh, the Hebrew, they don't have, it's all he, 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 he. Well, that's because you're reading it from he, 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 he. Right, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, you know, Gentile version, and you're stuck in mistranslation. You're stuck in translation, right? Mistranslation at that. Well, not everywhere. Let's 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 be right and accurate. King James version is a good. I can say it's a good um, first step, like a stepping stone. But people are stumbling over the stepping stone because they think that what they're able to discern from the English is one-to-one -one what's said in the Hebrew. So because they can understand the English, they think, that well, that's, I know, I read it in the English. No, you, you, you probably be surprised what you think you know. You know, when you get to the Hebrew level, you'd be surprised. Structurally, yeah, okay, Genesis, first book, chapter one, chapter two, generally speaking, and the general idea of the verses. But when we're talking about the details, you know, the divinity, people talk about the devil, the devil, that's, the, that's what on the mind, on the brain, the devil, the devil, right? Right, but we say the divinity, right? The divinity is in the details, Bereshith bara Elohim, right? In singularity, right? Hila him, the almighty powers, the powers he, you know, for the other Elohim Achrim, the other people's Elohim, it's like Elohim they, but here it is, Bara, the singularity of the Hebrew verb, that hilahim, we could say the nature of natures, right? The natures, like they say the, the elemental, we could say the principles, the forces, one could say of nature, of creation, right? The nature of natures, the power of powers, hilahim, bara, in singularity, he, right? But in what? In who? In Reishith, in wisdom, in she, 
Because you have you all these elements, you know, you got the elements. So if you create something, right? Yesh me'ayin. Yesh me'ayin. Created from, from nothing. You have to... If there was nothing existing, right? If that is the premise here, then in order to create something, you have to create a space to place it in. You need a space to put creation in. You know what I mean? <laughs> see, see how... Someone's and ones just using this art right here for right now. How someone's and ones see it, right, or perceive it, right, is like seeing blind. So here, bereishith, right, bereishith in chokma, in wisdom, right, in she, the same one to answer another question when they say, well, who was Elohim talking to? And he said, let, uh, let us. Hmm. Who was he talking to? Some say it was Jesus. Some say it was angels. <laughs> wrong. You're wrong. No, he was speaking to Hakma, wisdom. He was speaking to she. He was speaking to the one whom Robenu Yeshua Hanotri, right? Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ. He says that wisdom is justified by all of her children. See, one's own really didn't understand that when he read that, you know, within the New Testament because they don't have no groundation. It says to the what? To the law, Torah, and to the testimony. If they speak not like this, it's because there is no light. Let there be what? Light. Because there's no light in them. Bereshith bara Elohim et ha'aret. So now, to this question here. On every day, he didn't say it was good, right? In Genesis of the Bible, did you know that he did not say that every day was good? Which day he didn't say it was good? Well, it's the second day. Well, what is the second day? The second day, right? The second day. What's the second day of the week? Now, some people think it's Tuesday because Gregorian calendar is evil. They show they shall seek to change, what says, they shall seek to change times and laws. That's Daniel's prophecy. Seek to change times and laws. So I love it when we come to Bereshi, then we still come to the beginning of the Shemesta. Because when we come to the beginning of the Shemesta, it always reminds I and I of some of these fundamentals that's just doing this um this uh this short here. This is this is like our own short right here. Right? Hopefully not to go too long in this one right here, but just to answer this particular question, no. Not on every day did he say it was good. Now, on the first day, he said it was good, right? Did he say it was good on the second day? And then what is the second day? What's the real? Let's ask, like, ask the question like this. What is the real second day of the week? What's called the seven days, the Shabuah? What's the second day? What'd you say? Some think that Monday is the first day, right? Uh, that's because of how the Pope and how Babylon, you know, the papacy, you know, and the Antichrist have changed up has changed up things. Change what? Times and laws. Times and laws. Alright? So in the beginning, right? Or in beginning, we begin off with with times. Alright? And the fundamentals, right, of creation, iration law. Alright? From the low degree to the high degree. So here we find that in Genesis 1.18, right? Well right here, here, here. Let's go right here. Okay. He said it was good. Let's let's look it up like this. Um, um, he said, let's say, said said good, right? Said good. Back that up. Said good, right? Said good, right? Said good. Okay. Here, here. Let's do this. Let's get the King James language. How does King James language um, say it? Right here, here, here. Okay. Was was good. Was good. Was good. Yeah, that's that English. Was good was good let's go was good okay here we go here we go was good so we have Bereshith Genesis 1 and 4 and Elohim saw the light that it was good right and Elohim divided the light from the darkness so this is the first day right because we go forward right here we find the next verse where it says and Elohim called the light day the light is day so how is there 24 hours in a day you see how they're changing times and laws how's it 24 hours even in the new testament the bible robain and i rabbi a shuha notes me justice of nazi says know ye not that there are 12 hours in the day you know you got some christians talking about them love the lord and they obey the lord and it's in jesus name but 
in, in, in Jesus' name, he said that there's 12 hours in a day. So, so what part is the day? The day is the lit hours, right? And Elohim, see, it's man trying to be, <laughs> so-called, you know, greater, you know, lift up his throne above the stars of high Lahim. And Elohim called the light day and the darkness, right, he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day, right? So let's go over here. We go down here, right? And we go to the second day. Notice something about the second day. These three verses here, verses 6, this is the day. This is the day of the sixth creational day. The other day that we don't have, it is good, but that day was, uh, was blessed, you know, was blessed, was prospered, right? That's the Shabbat day. Right, because it says, and highly him bless the, the seventh day and sanctify and set it apart. Right, that's in the next chapter, Genesis chapter 2. Right, but notice right here after the first day, see on the first day in verse 4, right, in verse 4, it was good. Right, and he saw with the light that it was tob, tawab, tawab, it was tob, it was good. Right, and then it goes off. Here, verse 5, and it says, in the evening. Notice that it begins with evening and morning, right? When we're talking about the day, we're talking about those 12 hours. So it's been the 12 hours. See, basics of proper time, time, the divine time. And evening, so it begins from evening. So even in this sense, it seems as though creation began with evening. Right, we would think some people think in the morning, but no, it says the evening, right? The evening. This is why Friday evening is the beginning of the Shabbat. The Shabbat Eve is the beginning of the Shabbat, and before the holidays and the holy days. If the holy day is like say on the on the take for example Yom HaKippurim, it's on the tenth, but it begins the observation on the eve of the ninth. Because the eve of the ninth. Right, is the beginning of that day that's known as the tenth. Right? See Babylon has sought to turn things upside down. Right? And evening and the morning were the first day. Now we have these three verses. Check it. Elohim said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse seven. And Elohim made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters that were above the firmament, and it was so. And then we get to verse 8 right here. And Elohim called the firmament heaven, and evening and morning. Pay attention to the pattern. See that you pay attention to the pattern, pattern recognition. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Now, when we get to verse 9, it's going to begin to recount right, the third day, right? And we get to the third day, and we find that at the third day, on the third day, he saw it was good, right? On the fourth day, Hilehim Elohim saw, and it was good. On the fifth day, Hilehim Elohim saw, and it was good, right? And then we get to the 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 sixth day now here's interesting right here and on the sixth day right very good the creation of adam of of we could say human of mind right generically speaking male and female he created them and he said tob me'od tob me'od tawa mawad right tob me'od very it was very good but notice here the second day it doesn't say that. And I find it curious that it seems as though most people have been led to believe, and many Christians, even with the Bible in your hand, you would say that every day he said it was good. You know, some of us, some of us found ourselves saying that until we started to study it and say, wait, isn't it curious that there, he doesn't say it was good the second day? That on the second day, why? Now that brings now the why question. Why doesn't he say that the second day was good. N note here, all right? Note right here, it does not say that the second day was good. The first day was good. The second day, nothing is mentioned about it being good. 
Now, the second day of the Shabbat, the second day of the week, is what ones and ones will call, um, the second day properly is Monday. What we call Monday, the Yom Ha Sheni, right? Yom Ha Sheni or Senyo, Senyo, Bamarinya, Senyo and Sheni from the, that common Afro, you can say the Asiatic Afro, Ethio, Etho Semitic, right, roots. So, right here, here, here. Monday isn't it interesting because Monday is that day. You know how people talk about Monday. Monday is a very now Monday in the Gregorian on the evil calculation of time. You know, the faulty calculation of time. Monday is often referred to as the as the first day. You know, the first day of the working. You know, take no the first day of the working week is what people may refer to as Monday. So, on the second day of the week, right. Elohim didn't call it good. Hmm. Interesting. Come, come, come. Make a reason. 